What up, dope Pride Nation? I'm Luke G, and this is the Field Review. And today we got some film study on wide receiver Jordan Humphrey, aka Little Jordan. Shout out to George Morgan. All right, here's the thing that's funny about this man's name. His name is Little Jordan, and he's six five. Let me go ahead and get into it, man. Um, first things first we're going to talk about his strengths this guy will run block and he's really good at it um i've probably watched about all their games because believe it or not texas is one of the teams that i love football wise and when i watched the film he he had no problem getting in there to make a run block he is deceptively agile now we're going to get more into that but what i mean by that is he somehow finds the open spots in the defense now when i get to his weakness it's going to sound strange what i just said there he has no problem catching the ball in traffic he has no problem catching the ball at the highest point now here's the weaknesses this dude cannot really run routes. He's probably got about two or three routes that he runs. Um, maybe an out route. And that's a terrible out route. But usually he's running streaks and fades. Literally. Um, he catches the, bo the ball with his body a lot versus his hands. Versus his hands. Um, he runs the routes somewhat hard when he knows the ball is coming to him. But when he knows that ball not coming to him, he don't even put together a good acting shot. Um, he he doesn't have good deep route separation, but that big frame of his makes it hard for people to jump up there and, and catch the ball with him. This is Maryland for 2018. What you're gonna see here is a beautiful catch at the highest point. Now, Mr. Humphreys is here. What you're gonna see is a catch that goes to the highest point here. And if you look, you see he made a nice catch. Now right here, they're gonna put it in slow motion. I want you to look at him because he's right here now, okay? And what you're gonna see is, this is not a route for real, for real, okay? Now, he goes up at the highest point and catches it. That's beautiful. But we go back to the beginning of this of this play. All right, and this is going to be a running theme with me today. Okay, I want somebody to play this game with me called Name That Route. Okay, name this route. He's right here. What is this? What is that? Still not sure. Maybe if I actually let him do it in normal speed, you will know what the route is. Let's try it. What is that route? Somebody please tell me. Now, this is what I say. This is why I say he does not run routes. And when he do run them, they're lazy. I just want somebody to tell me what is this route. So he's right here. I'm going to let it run at normal speed. Let's take a look. <laughs> I'm sorry people I'm sorry <laughs> it's just funny to me okay I'm gonna slow it down <laughs> I'm gonna slow it down but yet keep it fast enough for it to work alright here we go alright watch his, watch his hands his arms his legs his footwork what is this route here we go. <laughs> okay, right here. Yep, that looks like him right there. All right. Now. Okay, here we go. What is that route? What is that route, people? 
What is that? I'm going to go back for you. He's right here. He comes in. Okay. What is this? What is, what is this? And this guy actually bit on it. What is this? Okay. All right. Let's watch that in a little bit faster. This video is not going to be long because literally what I'm going to show you in this is what you're going to see quite often. However, I do understand why Mr. Morgan wanted us to take a look at him because if you're talking about getting a receiver in the later rounds, like a third round pick, I would pick this guy up for his run blocking alone and for his ability to jump up and get the ball at the highest point. But I do need somebody to explain to me what are these routes? Because I don't think them are routes. This is full speed slow mo. What is that? Okay, now I can't make this stuff up. At 415, he somehow gets open, but drops a wide open pass. And granted, the pass was behind him. However, he's in perfect position to make that catch, and he needed to make it. All right, so he's right here. All right, so y'all can y'all can see it. He's right here, and what you're going to see is he's going to run this route. Hmm. Now, the reason I love this angle is because you can see where the ball is at at this point, and it, it's slightly behind him. But what I want you to see is, look where the ball is at right here. Look at his hands. Look at the bottom hand. This hand needs to be equal to this one so he can put himself in position to catch that ball. But what happens is he lets it get into his body. This is a theme that I saw a lot with this receiver. And I hate body catching receivers. You know, we just can't have it. Now, he's right here. And what you're going to see is, is he runs that route hard when he knows this ball is coming to him right and what bothered me about this is he's going to catch the ball with his body again so he's right here let's take a look did y'all see that people y'all didn't see it let's get a look at it a little bit closer he's right here watch how he sell this route okay my only problem with that is he catches the ball with his body and to me that's not a good thing to to be in the habit of doing but i'll slow it down so we just take a look at it starts out quick arms feet all right right here you can't do that you can't have a body catcher he's got to work on his hands on here okay and at the 613 mark, what I love about this is why I believe Mr. Morgan said that I need to do film study on him. He's right here. Okay. Watch how he gets down with this block. And I'm gonna leave it in um I'm gonna leave it in the uh, slow motion so you can see it. But watch how he get down with this block. Boom! Take the block on. What I want you to see is, is his arms are going here, inside. When you get inside, that's how you make things happen. So, ball is thrown here. He's blocked, he's blocked. Okay? That's all I want my receivers to do. I take that every day and twice on Sunday. Okay? Now what we're going to do is, is we're going to jump over to the West Virginia game. All right. So he is right here. Okay. And what I want you to do is watch how he gets this block. Now he has already engaged. Every time he goes for the block, his hands are inside people. And anybody who know anything about this, this uh, position and knows that this is how you control everything on a player. But let's watch this block. This dude struggled to get away from him. You see what I'm saying? That's what you want out of a receiver, especially if you're going to be a running team. 
Uh, to have him as a slot receiver who can do that is nice. Now, they do let him do kick and punt returns at, at Texas. I don't, I don't know why. It's not like he's the fastest thing out there. But yet, they let him do it. And I think that's because he got that, that very deceptive agility. Now, we'll go to the 106 spot. And right here is where you'll find Mr. Little Jordan. Even though he's six foot five, people. At least two something, okay? And what I love about this catch is he makes a great catch at the high point and gets two feet down and everything. The problem is he does not really run a route. He just looks back and see where the quarterback is at and locates him. Okay? And what you're going to see is they're going to run it back in slow motion. So you see they kind of do an all-out blitz. Right? And the quarterback does a great job of getting off to the side and throwing the ball up. What I want you to see is look at this space. And there's not a lot of space there. But what he does is, is adjusts his speed to be able to get the ball at the highest point. Now you may be wondering, how do I know that, Luke? The ball is right here. There's the shadow, okay? Little details tell you stuff, okay? That's the ball. Watch what the receiver do. Highest point, two feet down. He's already practicing NFL style catches in college. I understand why Mr. Morgan suggested this guy. Okay, but then I start to look at some things, and I'm just not sure what this is. Let's go to the 203 mark. Okay, now at the 203 mark, right here, you will see little Jordan Humphrey. All right, and what you're going to see is this is going to come off of play action. He's going to find a way to get open in the coverage, but catch the ball with his body. So, you may be wondering, well, what's wrong with that? What was this route? Okay? This isn't a route. This is more of a breakdown in defense. You cannot allow this to happen. They just play pathetic here. And I'm going to show you it in slow-mo so we can see it. All right, um, let's put it about right here. All right. So again, ladies and gentlemen, he's right here. All right. And we're going to watch him. What is this route? He's just simply going to find a way to get into an open spot. It starts off a quick slant, and then he just gets to an open spot. Good for him. All right. I can take that, but I just feel like at the next level it's going to be a problem. But here go another angle that lets you know that this is just bad defense. Okay, let's watch number 11 for a second. All right. Number 11 is looking at the quarterback. And I believe number 11 is supposed to be in zone right here. Because there's no way possible that they got him spying in this guy over here. It just don't make sense. So somebody in this area messed up. Look what he just do. He just cut the route off and go up the field. That's easy pitch and catch. You can't ask for nothing more than that. Okay. He is right here, ladies and gentlemen. But it's what he do after he catch the ball that I look at. And if you know anything about football, yak is very important. But let's go. He comes and boom. Off the line. And I just want y'all to take a moment. To realize what just happened okay and I think the reason that I want y'all to understand what happened is because if you're going to just run that that route it's got to be more fluent he doesn't drop his hips to get him fluent so what happens is you will even see it in slow mo and I can do it in normal time and you'll still see it is he takes a little pause before he get the cut and it shouldn't happen like that but just pay attention he's right here and here we go so you're going to see right here, this ball is going to get snapped, come off the line, this weird stop, boom. I don't know what that was supposed to be, it, but the ball gets to him. Now, at this point, he's turned. And it doesn't seem like there's a lot of speed behind him. The problem is, is 
this defense was horrible and they did a good job of blocking okay now it he go a weak route and i'm gonna show you it this is by far one of the weakest routes i have ever seen okay and again it's just weak you know it's almost like he know that he don't have to do it against this team so he runs a weak weak route still got open off this weak route it's what's going to happen afterwards that lets you know he got some work to do all right so he comes off i don't know what this is but if y'all notice they all the same routes and he finds a soft cushion in the, in the, in the defense now he stops and this guy over pursues and he's growing now you can see it coming if you know football Anybody who see that urn cock like that know what's finna happen. But we just gonna let it play out. Boom. Whoa. And there go that fumble. Okay. There goes that fumble. And to me, when you watch this route that was weak as crap and he still got open and he gets past it and he got the ball against his body, you making all those moves, you gotta know somebody coming up for that ball. Ball security is important, people. And, you know, right there, he had a moment. Now, this play right here is a stroke of genius by him. The one thing that I like about this dude is when it comes to being uh, unscripted, and what I mean by unscripted, meaning that it didn't go the way that you wanted, he would turn around and locate that quarterback and find a spot in the defense. So he's right here. And he's gonna run, take off, and I just want you to see it. And right here, it's gonna show you that same route. Like I said, streaks and fades, people. Streaks and fades. No posts, no uh, slants, no cut routes. But look at this catch at the highest point. At the highest point, if a cornerback ain't at least six feet with hops, he gonna win every time. Look at this catch. Look where he's at when the ball comes down. The defender hands ain't even near his, his wrist. Okay? This is what you're going to get out of a player like this, like Mr. Little Jordan. Okay, so we are now in the TCU 2018 film. And right here, I, I got a problem with this route. So he's right here. And what you're going to see is, is he finds they this they did a good job of finding a way to put him against tight uh not tight ends but uh linebackers, and he's going to somehow end up matched up with this linebacker right here. What he does that I do not like because it could come off as a penalty is he's going to push off this guy. What bothered me about it is he didn't even need to initiate the contact. If he was a more uh, you know, if he's a better route runner, there's no need to do this push off. But what you're going to see is, mind you, he's right here. You're going to see him initiate contact, and that throws off the timing between him and the pass. That pass is completed if he does not, uh, if he does not, you know, initiate that contact. There's no reason for him to initiate the contact. Um, he really he really just needed to just be able to run that route, Chris. And what would have happened is he would have got himself open by default. So to show you what it looks like in full slow-mo, you're gonna see why I don't I don't like the fact that he initiate contact. Again, he's right here. So he comes up. And mind you, this is just at the slowest speed possible because they're going to do it by frames. And the circle character is the linebacker. And so what you're going to see is, is the linebacker is going to go over and attempt to cover him. Now, this is a mistake. Now, right here, okay, right here while the linebacker is on his outside shoulder, if he breaks down and go outside, he's going to do some things. Now, he gets up to about the first down marker. So I get what he's doing. He's trying to get a little bit past the first down marker. But because he's initiating this contact, 
the quarterback let the ball go. Now, when the quarterback is letting the ball go, because he don't initiated this contact, he got to whip his head around, and now he got to get more speed to get out there to the ball. And make no mistake, people, that is a poorly thrown ball. I'm, I'm not, I'm not excusing that. But what I'm telling you is, is, I believe he has enough speed if he doesn't initiate that contact to chase that ball down. That's what I'm really saying. All right, so we're going to play the game of what route is this okay and i'm gonna do it in normal speed because in slow motion it's even more embarrassing so he's right here they just sent him in motion tell me what route this is people what is that what is that route because this is laziness you gotta sell it I want you to watch what, what he does when he runs this route, okay? Watch what he do, and watch what he do when he runs this route, all right? Did you see anybody bite on that? Now, granted, somebody's gonna say this is probably cover two. Could be, but nobody bit on this. And he's looking over there, and he can't throw it here because this guy is in the range, and it's a safety over the top, this guy's in the range of safety over the top. He's right here with backside help to bring down the receiver. But nonetheless, you didn't even sell it. Sell the route. Okay, people. We are now at the 428 mark. I said it once. I said it twice. I'll say it for a third time. When he know the ball is not coming to him, he is not going to run hard. Okay, he is right here. Watch this route that he, I mean, watch this route that he run and he know the ball not coming. Y'all probably missed that. See, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring people to a whole new world. I want you to watch the route because it's very important to understanding a person's attention and I can't stand laziness, okay? Let me know, do y'all see hand movement? Do you see a head fake? Anything. I wanna see hand movement, head fake, quick feet, something. Let me know if y'all see any of that. This is normal speed, people. Let's go. We can't have that in the NFL, okay? We can't have that. It, 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 it can't happen. So here's my overall uh, view of Mr. Little Jordan Humphreys. If you want a receiver who's big, you draft this guy. If you want a receiver who's big and you take him in the first round, you're crazy. If you're gonna take him in the second round, you're crazy. Third round, cool because he has a lot of things he need to work on. And one of the things that he need to work on is catching the ball with his hands. He totally needs to work on his route running. Okay? He absolutely needs to work on his lackluster uh, acting skills. Because if you're not gonna head fake, move your arms quick, chop your feet, nothing. What make you think the cornerback is going to bite on that? They're not going to pay you no attention. So, overall, would I be upset if the Detroit Lions took this guy? No. As long as it's in the later round, like third, fourth. You know, like in that third or fourth round. But if they took him in the second, am I going to talk about them? Yes. Yes, I am. If a team took him in a second and they needed a big receiver, would I talk about him? Depending on the team. If they can get him to work on those things that I believe is hindering him, great. But if not, he ain't worth the time. So that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thanks for watching. Until next time, don't be no chump. Do your research.